Hello Saran everybody, welcome to the oracle reading for the Lilith in Cancer and the new moon in Cancer. Whoa, and this is what? Cancer season, that's all I gotta say. Oh my gosh, for y'all Cancers out there, some of them how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> all right, so this is a reading, this is gonna be an oracle reading about um, your security, you know? what you need to feel secure or to have your securities be met all right so that card or this card is going to tell you about that and if you have a cusp moon all right that means your moon is falling within two signs then definitely uh you should be watching two of the moon signs right whatever it is so like for instance i am a gemini cancer cancer cusp um moon sign so i usually have to watch a gemini moon reading and a cancer moon reading in order to get a full perspective of the emotional side of things right uh, when it comes to the moon right so the fem side of the things however you want to talk about it but this is a card about how your securities are being met. This is going to be also, you're going to relate it to generational curses. Because with Lilith being there, honey, Lilith is big mama that don't play, okay? She that one that, you listen, ain't no holding back. Um, we're going to get this all out and we're going to get it out yesterday. Okay, that's big mama for you, okay? Big mama be like, no, we should have got this out 10 years ago. Okay, so she's here. Okay, and she's hanging out in Cancer with the new moon in Cancer season. So, yes, she planned this. Mm hmm She planned this, honey. You know, when when on a grandmother or a great-grandmother plan the perfect time to catch you behind. You know what I mean? You know, especially the real old grandmamas, y'all know. They be, they be right there. You think they had bunions. You thought they had arthritis. You thought thought they had a hearing loss and can't see uh-huh yeah that energy right there <laughs> smooth but deadly right shoot all right so let's get into it so we don't waste any more time and i'm going to start off with aries and go all the way down have a wonderful day and night during this cancer transit with the new moon and cancer and the lilith and cancer during cancer season. What's around Libra, Sun, Moon, Ascendance? This is your Oracle card reading for the new moon in Cancer as well as the Black Lilith being in Cancer during cancer season. So you can see a lot of cancer all around, right? So this is seen beyond, okay, Libras. And this is going to help you get um, some type of security some type of stability and structure, you know, some type of safety, you know, having your vulnerability um, being secure within those vulnerabilities. It's kind of like any type of <clears throat> generational curses with Lilith was going to come out. So this card is saying, see beyond this. You know, see beyond the limitations of what you expect. Like, do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know? Because maybe you've seen somebody else do it, or you heard of somebody else who's done it, or this, that, and the other, and you're like, nah, I'm good. You know? But you're not looking at the broader perspective. Because, yes, yeah, some things in life, you do look at other people's life, and you can learn from their examples and be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. But you're doing this to, like a lot of things, you know, and you're like missing out on some of the gifts. Can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential, into the unknown of possibilities, into the unknown of all possibilities that can happen? I mean, everybody is gifted with the magical ability to imagine, you know, and when you open to it, you become like a conduit for a divine vision, a greater vision that's beyond your own. You know, um, you're going to need time to do that. You're going to need your space to do that. You're going to have to have some quiet time to yourself in order to go beyond what you think is possible. All right. There are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from a face value perspective. 
Like what you see is what you get. The second is allowing your imagination to be see beyond what something is right in front of you. All right. So all possibilities is your future, is what you need to keep in mind, is what's keeping you not feeling secure and vulnerable. So if you use your imagination faithfully and consciously, avoiding traps of fearful projections and drama, you can connect to any reality you truly want to experience. So you are in your way, you know, and most likely from generation to generations, those people that you came from, you know, have been in their way. And therefore, they can only talk about what ifs and this and that and the other and should have, could have, would have and never amounted to what they should have, could have, would have because of them being in their way. So today, know that your vision, what you imagine forming in the invisible will be delivered into the material world. So, you know, everybody's into this whole... Um, projection and all that other kind of stuff and astral projection and all that. It's just the same thing, right? So you're into your imagination, right? And you get real so detailed with that that, and you take action upon that where it just manifests on its own because that's where you're focusing all your attention to. So don't worry about timing of things and, and this, that, and the other and who and how and when. You know, it's all in the universe hands right now. Your job is to continue to imagine and take, like I said, those steps forward and keep the imagine tight. Keep it so detailed, you know, just like when you watch a movie, it's detailed. Or you read a book with no pictures and the, the, the wording is so detailed that you create your own imagination based off of that, you know? So that type of play. So go ahead and get into that and everything will work out according to what you would want to work out. And what a fabulous partnership, you and the universe, okay? Have a wonderful day and night. Leave our sun, moon, and It's during this cancer, full new moon, and cancer season with Lilith being in cancer as well.